Hey guys, welcome back to another cleaning video. My name's Katie Satilli if you're new here and I post tons of fun videos. I'd love it if you stuck around and hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications. That way you can know anytime I upload new videos. I like to post cleaning videos, lifestyle videos, all kinds of like vlogs, try on hauls. I do like a little bit of everything on this channel. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff and just kind of getting to know me better, make sure you stick around and hit that red subscribe button. So today's video is a whole house clean with me. I basically cleaned all day long. So if you need some cleaning motivation, this is the video for you. Look no further, you have found some serious cleaning inspiration. So this is probably the most that I've ever cleaned in my life the day that I um, recorded this video. I told this to my husband after I was done cleaning. I was like, I don't think I've ever cleaned that long or that much ever. <laughs> so just know that today's video is packed full of lots of cleaning and I got a ton of stuff done. So let me know down in the comments if you are cleaning with me or if you're just watching to get some motivation. So as you guys know, we moved into this house about a month and a half or two months ago, something like that. And it has been on my mind to dust because I haven't dusted very much since moving in. I mean, besides like cleaning off countertops and tables and stuff like that. But I felt like I just needed to like start dusting different pieces of furniture and decor and stuff like that. So you'll see me kind of going through and dusting a lot of things in this video. So I'm just gonna be vacuuming the dining room now that I've like dusted everything and wiped everything off the table. Um, I was vacuuming every single day. I like, I'd always vacuum in the afternoon and I have kind of fallen off the bandwagon with my vacuuming routine. So I definitely needed to vacuum wait until the very last clip of this video and you will see how much dirt and stuff was in my whole house it is super satisfying So now we're moving into the living room and this room really needed some attention. You can't really tell from like just this shot, but this whole TV stand had never been dusted since we moved in. So it was really, really bad. Um, so you'll see in just a couple minutes, I'm gonna be working on the TV stand and it felt so good to get that thing like all clean and dusted. But before that, I'm just fluffing the pillows and fluffing the couch cushions, which always makes me feel so much better about life. So 
So this top piece hides dust really well. So I didn't know, but OMG, look how bad that is. I wasn't sure if that was like part of the stain coming up or something, but it was dirty. Either way, there's no way getting around it. It needed to be wiped down super bad. And now comes for, I just feel like I have not gotten used to like dusting. I mean, obviously everything's new to me here. So if you're new here, we moved in, you know, just recently into this house. And before we were in a condo that was like half the size or smaller than half the size of this house. So I'm still getting used to like how much I need to clean and how much there is to dust and mop and vacuum and all that stuff. So plus the normal laundry and all those things that you just always have to do. So yeah, I'm just getting used to it. So now that the living room is all done, I am just moving into the kitchen. And this was like the worst room downstairs, which is why I left it for last. I just like didn't want to deal with it. So I'm just gonna go through and pick up everything off the countertop that doesn't belong there. And um, I just gave like a few things to my husband and he put them away. And then as you can see on that blue plate, we are growing wheatgrass. My aunt came over and did like a fun project with the kiddos and they each planted a wheatgrass and now they're like double the size of that. And I don't know what to do with them. So <laughs> if you have any suggestions, let me know. I know that I could probably put them into my smoothies, but I'm not sure if I want to. I'm not sure. I did look up the benefits of wheatgrass of like eating it and I was like, man, this is really healthy, but I'm not sure if I want to eat it. So <laughs> I don't know. Weigh in. Let me hear your thoughts down in the comments. So I was recently at Target and got some of these like little dusters. It's like, I can't remember how much it costs. I think it was like $1.99 or something. And there's like a few that come in the pack. So I'm gonna be using those throughout today's video. You probably already saw me use some in the dining room, like for the um, light fixture. So yeah. Oh, and then I picked up these really cute sponges that are just all white and I found them in a three pack. So I got a couple of them and I was like so excited cause I just wanted to switch it out for like the neon yellow and green one that's out there. I really like when it all looks like neutral and matching and like pretty. So <laughs> it's the little things in life. <laughs>
I'm gonna be using the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleanser and I've never used this on this new sink um, I always have used it uh, in the past at my old condo and it really works super well I was really really happy with like how it I don't know I just felt like it cleaned it so much better maybe because it's stainless steel I'm not sure but I really liked it and I will definitely be using it again on this sink. I feel like it just made it look really shiny and clean. And you can just enjoy this shot of the sink getting all rinsed off. I feel like there's something so satisfying about looking at a clean sink. Now I'm just going to be putting out some new towels, which I need to go do this in my house right now, actually, because as I am doing this voiceover, it's been a few days since I filmed this and I need to go switch out my towels. So um, now I'm just going to be cleaning off this whole little like cake stand thing and all of the little soap dispensers and decor items and ca candles and stuff on it so that it can look like super nice and clean and yeah you can see my kids walking through the background they're going to be running through here i tried to cut them out just because i feel like i want this to be like a zen cleaning video but you know mom life One of my favorite things to do is wipe down the counters because I feel like when it's all done, I just feel like it represents that the kitchen or whatever place is all cleaned. So now that the counters are all cleaned up, I am just going to be vacuuming. I wanted to vacuum the whole house. I know that the clips keep getting like kind of, I don't know how to say it, like choppy because my kids were running around. Anyways, I was trying to cut them out, but, um, I needed to vacuum all the floors, which we do have a robot vacuum. Some of you guys have suggested getting one, but I can't find it ever since the move. So I need to go look through the garage again because I know that we have it somewhere. We didn't throw it out. We didn't get rid of it. So I need to figure it out. And also lighting a candle is like my way of signifying this room is done and all clean. I've always done that since I was like a lot younger when I used to do my chores in my mom's house, my parents' house. I would always light a candle when I was done cleaning.
now it's time to head into the bathroom. I actually needed to clean all three bathrooms in this video like a really good deep clean and um, I it's funny because one of the bathrooms I forgot to clean the toilet I think it's the one in the master bedroom so we'll see here in a minute but um, anyways so I grabbed the rugs from this bathroom and just shook them out because I was gonna be um, detailing and cleaning like the floors and then I'm just using Lysol to clean the sink and the toilet just I really wanted to give it like a good uh, deep clean and all that stuff so I just feel like it was so sparkly clean when I was done with this So I'm just going to finish vacuuming this downstairs area. And as you can see, Sean was cleaning right along with me. He was doing the windows, which I was like, man, this is like great cleaning content, but I couldn't get like him on camera and me on camera. And I just felt like I needed to keep going so that I didn't lose steam. I don't know if you guys feel like that, but when I start cleaning, I can't like sit down and take a rest on the couch. Cause if I sit down, and do something, I will never get back up and finish cleaning. So anyways, um, I some people have asked me what I use to clean the floors. So this is the Fabuloso and I also like the Lemon Pine Sol. But besides that, I don't really have like a favorite floor cleaner. So let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite floor cleaner that you like. I've also done in the past, I've done um, like essential oils and vinegar and hot water and I really liked that too. So I don't know, I'm not sure, maybe I'll try that again. So I don't know if you can hear like the hammering in the background, but the houses are being built behind us. So as you guys know, if you've been around for a while, you know that they're building all these houses behind our house um, and it's just super loud. So I apologize if there's like banging in the background. And then um, I also wanted to say it's really funny because I feel like I don't quite have the hang of mopping yet. Like it sounds funny to say, but in our last place, it was basically all carpet. So now in this place, there's just so much hardwood floor downstairs that I'm having to learn like what the method is of mopping and like kind of how I go around the room and do it and like back myself out of a room instead of walking forward into a room. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> it's so funny as I'm watching myself back, I'm like, oh, I was walking on like, 
the wet part that was already clean, but I don't know how you avoid doing that. So I wanted to give a little life update for us. We found out this past Thursday that the kids get to go back to school in person four days a week. So before they were doing just two days a week, which was just Monday and Tuesday, but now they get to go four days a week, which this mama is so excited about. I cannot even tell you how relieved I am that the kids are able to like be more in person and be around other kids their age and that I don't have to be doing their schooling with them quite as much. I mean, we still have homework, but it's totally different than, um, you know, the like day-to-day -day virtual learning stuff. That has been very hard for me. I don't know if you're a mom if you've had to do that stuff, but um, it's been difficult, like trying to find the balance of everything. And then I still have Hudson and, you know, it's just a lot to balance. So I'm just like beyond excited that they get to go back to school a little bit more this week. I'm in the master bathroom just in case you're wondering where I am. I know that we're all kind of getting used to this new house. So um, this mirror is very high and I was like barely able to reach the very top part on my tippy toes, but I got like the very, very top um, all cleaned off. And then you can see I'm just using that Lysol to wipe down the counters and sinks again. And right here I was emptying out my um, essential oils diffuser because I hadn't used it in a couple weeks and it was just sitting there. So I wanted to get that all cleaned up and then the sink all cleaned up as well. Another life update that is going on with our family is this week is like birthday marathon week. So Sean's birthday is April 29th. I had to pause there for a second to think about what month we're in. And then Bentley's birthday is May 3rd and Hudson's birthday is May 6th. And so um, it's just a lot of birthdays all within like a few days. So we got Sean's birthday down and then today that I'm f doing this voiceover is Bentley's birthday. We actually just opened his birthday presents and um, had lunch and now he's playing with like his Lego set that we gave him and so I figured I would sneak away and do a little voiceover real quick and then head back down and hang out with the fam. But um, yeah and then the only one left is Hudson. He'll be... Um, turning three. Can you guys believe he's turning three for those of you who've been with me since he was born or since I was pregnant with him? Like, isn't that crazy? I just cannot believe that that little guy is three years old. And then Bentley turned six, just in case you're wondering. 
So something that I used to say all the time in my cleaning videos was vacuum lines on fleek and these are vacuum lines on fleek if we can be honest and so are those. Um, but I wanted to send out a little fun challenge that next time you do any kind of vacuuming in your house if you have some like really nice looking vacuum lines tag me on Instagram. Some of you guys already do this and I love it so much I always will like reshare it on my Insta stories. But I think it's so much fun to see all of the different vacuum lines from all of you guys. Just did think we'd end up this way like strangers again. to show you all an up close shot of the dirt that was on my kids sink and this right here was like they had just gotten up on the sink to clean off their feet because they were in the backyard in the dirt and the mud and so I think if you've been if you've like seen our backyard it's like basically just all dirt and so whenever the kids go out there it's just a disaster it really is like it's a mud pit. There's just like dirt all over our floors downstairs. It's really hard to keep clean like when the kids play out there. <laughs> but I'm super happy for them that they have a backyard because at our last place we didn't have a backyard. But um, it definitely has created an interesting situation to deal with. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to be like super chill and let them play in the backyard and just let it all, you know, let it run its course and just deal with it at the end of the day. But at the same time, my mom OCD is going crazy. We need some grass and cement in the backyard ASAP. the bathrooms are all sparkly clean except for the one toilet that I forgot to clean <laughs> um, and now I'm just gonna be vacuuming the whole upstairs so I'm all I'll do it like piece by piece and you know dust and do different things as I go along but my parents had spent the night I don't know how long ago probably been a couple weeks I already cleaned the sheets I did that in my last cleaning video but I never had vacuumed the room so wanted to vacuum the room just because when I walk by this room honestly it makes my heart so happy because it's always clean and I know nobody really ever goes in here unless it's like a guest coming over or sometimes the kids build forts in here I gotta be honest about that one but 
Um, it just feels so good to like walk by the room and the bed is always made and the vacuum lines are always on fleek and yeah, so got that done. So big high five and hug to you if you've made it all the way towards the end of this video. We're not quite done yet. As you can see, this room needed to be cleaned hardcore, which this was nothing compared to how bad it was. I actually asked Sean to go in there and like do some pre-cleaning because I was at the very end of my day of cleaning and I was like, dude, I cannot deal with that room right now. So good old Sean. <laughs> helped and got like most of the room clean and then I just had some of the toys to put into these little black bins which I love this system honestly it's a very unorganized system but it just kind of lets the kids be able to be kids like in our last house we used to have everything like by genre and it was so perfectly like labeled and like organized which I like that too but then like the kids play with it and it always ends up in the wrong bins so this is like a much more carefree way of keeping their toys and it looks super nice when it's all cleaned up you know found myself in between the lines underneath your bed sheets it started fun but now i'm into deep into this flow a zero sum game that i will lose there's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my brain now. I've lost you. So the last thing I needed to do was just work on the laundry and switching the load over, which is so funny because as I'm talking right now, I need to go switch a load over as well. It just never ends. You know what I mean? Give this video a thumbs up if you feel the same way about laundry. It just never ends. <laughs> um, as soon as you feel like, yeah, like I'm on top of this, you have another load to go. So anyways, um, make sure you stick around I know this video is almost done, but here in just a few seconds, you're going to see all of the dirt that had collected into my vacuum cleaner, which by the way, I'm loving the, new, the Dyson that we got. I mean, it's new to us. Um, the new Dyson is like one of my favorite things that I've purchased in a really long time. So um, just in just a second, you're going to see here it is. There's like a max line and I went like double what it was supposed to be and I never realized how bad that was. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you made it all the way to the end and thank you for watching. Seriously, it means the world to me and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys. Everyone always keep falling in love again.